hey guys i'm rachel welcome back to my channel my channel today i'm doing a poison ivy inspired halloween look this is just in time for all my last minute halloweeners out there just using stuff that's in your closet or in your makeup collection your wig collection whatever it is is very inexpensive and just in time for halloween All right, so I did my makeup off camera. I will link one in the i cards in the description box. It's the way I always do my makeup. I went for very full coverage because I am gonna wear a look like that out. So I want to make sure that my makeup will last throughout the night. So I really set my makeup well. So I'll link any video related to that so you can see the way I apply my makeup. Now I'm starting with Juvia's Place palette and I'm using the color Zora. It's a burgundy reddish color. I didn't want to go too red with my brows and I'm gonna fill in and line my brows with that. I didn't want to like cover my brows totally because I felt like the darkness of my natural brows made that brow look look you know more um, wearable and softer on the eyes with the darkness underneath it created some sort of gradient and look that I liked because like I said I am gonna wear the look out so I wanted to just be more approachable <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna spoolie that through so that there are no patches because this is a totally different color from my natural brows. So I just wanna make sure it's smooth. Then I'm going in with the color Wake and Bake from Morphe and James, and sorry, Morphe and uh, Jeffree Star palette. And that's gonna be my transition shade. And I'm gonna apply that in my crease and blow it out, pull it out to the tail of my brows because I want it to be more like a cut crease and just a little more dramatic to the tail of my eyes I didn't forget to show the color but I will show it later on in the clip as you can see <laughs> is that green that I just used then I'm taking um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe armed and gorgeous palette I'm using top secret and I'm gonna apply that to the outer V of my eyes and basically do the same thing but I'm just concentrating the color to the outer V and I'm gonna pull it out again to the tail of my brows and bring the excess inwards Closer to the inner corner of my eyes and I'll be using a couple palettes I'm sorry um, but these were the palettes that had the look the colors that I wanted for the look that I'm trying to create so I will list them all in the description box so be sure to check the description out so I'm just applying that color until I am satisfied with the way it looks and with the pigment Now this is not necessary, but I'm taking um, So Jaded from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop recent release palette and I'm just going to apply it over top that one. It's a different shade of green. I feel like it did something to the look, but like I said, it's not necessary. You do not have to do that, but it did something to the look. That's all I'm saying. I said that. <laughs> Going back to the um, Morphe and Jeffree Star palette, I'm taking the color Nate and I'm applying that to my lids. But I'm not bringing it all the way to the inner corner of my eyes. I want to leave there sort of bare because I am going, going to go over with another color. So I'm tapping that in because it's a matte color. So, you, you know, you got to take your time with the matte colors when you want the pigments to stay and last. Taking period. Back to the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop and I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. The reason why I left it bare. And then I'm going to go over that Nate color from Jeffree Star palette and use um, Emerald from Kathleen Lights palette again. And I'm going to tap that over it. I just felt like it was necessary for a little bit of glitz and glams and shimmer. The look needed it. So that's why I'm doing that. And I'm just going to mesh everything together so that it's well blended and we have no harsh lines. I'm basically using the same colors as my transition colors underneath. I'm going to use that um, Wake and Bake color from the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm going to apply it low underneath my eyes and connect it to the outer V of my eyes. And bring it all the way up to the tail of my brow like I was doing earlier. And deepen that with the top secret color from, Jacqueline, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to buff it and blow it out. Then I'm going to apply some... Uh, black um, gel liner in my waterline this is a Maybelline gel liner it's one of my favorite liners from the drugstore gel liners 
I'm just gonna apply that in my waterline. No look is completed without black in my waterline. <laughs> then I'm using ColourPop liner and I'm gonna create a wing. I feel like a wing is absolutely necessary for a look like that. Now I'm gonna go back to the face and I'm gonna contour my face using the greens that I used in my crease. But I'm using the Wake and Bake color from um, that I used in my transition, but I felt it was looking a bit muddy. So you'll see I went in with um, Social Blade from um, James Charles and Morphe palette. It's of a deeper green, sorry, of a lighter green. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going over it just to make it look less muddy. It turned out all right in the end, but I just still feel like it looked muddy. I wanted it to be, I don't know, a different green. I don't know. Maybe I'm just OCD. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing right here. Then I'm taking my current favorite highlighter. It's from Juvia's Place. I'm applying that to my nose. I'm also going to apply some of that to my Cupid's bow. And I'm also going to put some of it to my chin. Then I'm applying this pigment from Colourpop named The Fish. It's green. I'm just applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. Then I went ahead and applied lashes from Ardell. I feel like this look needed some lash with a little vava boom. So it's some um, mink lashes and they're pretty heavy. Not like I use every day, but this look needed it. Then I'm gonna um, fill in my lips, line and fill in my lips with this liquid lip, um, lipstick from Sephora in um, Always Red. And I sort of overlined my lips a bit and I did get messy. So I went in and cleaned that up with some concealer. You know, I feel like red lips should always be sharp. Unless that's not the look you're going for. But I'm just cleaning up the edges so that it's neater. Then I took the color, the bow, another pigment. And I'm applying that to my forehead. And I'm going to apply it to the tops of my cheek as well. And just a little underneath the middle of my eyes. You'll see that. And... It, I just felt like you needed that. I needed that for the next step that I'm about to do that you will see. So, you know, it's a pigment and it added a little extra something to the look. And I went over with a larger blush to just, you know, blend it in so it's more diffused. Here is the magical part. I'm so excited. I'm using rhinestones, red rhinestones, and I'm going to apply that sporadically <laughs> on my forehead creating a pattern that you know I'm a nail tech okay I will leave the link to my social media in the bottom to check out my work but that's what I use to apply my stones I use um, a wax stick and I'm using um, lash glue it's black if you have one that dries clear will be better but that's what I had on hand and I wasn't gonna buy a new lash glue just to do that I did a look like that one time and I did wear it out and the glue held on really, really well. So I'm just sticking it um, different places. Like I'm using different sizes. There's no rhyme or rhythm to it. I'm just using different sizes and creating a pattern that I feel like looks good in my head. <laughs> so I'm applying the glue first because the glue does take about 30 seconds to dry. And then I'm sticking different sizes um, on my forehead. That's the reason why I applied that um pigment underneath. I felt like it would do something extra for the look. I'm also going to apply some underneath my eyes as well. The same thing. I'm just using different sizes. Again, plug in. I am a nail tech. Check my work out. Book me. And you can find these wax sticks on Amazon. I also buy them in the, beauty, um, the nail supply store when I actually go to get products and things like that. They make picking up Swarovskis and crystals way easier. I'm going to apply one in the inner corner of my eyes as well. <laughs> then on the tops of my cheekbones like I said I'm just creating a pattern like what I see in my head <laughs> I also applied some underneath my brow I feel like it needed that and it completed the pattern that I had in my head <laughs> for my rhinestones <laughs> and that's the way it turned out and I'm so impressed I love it so much now it's time for the star of the show the wig i bought this wig from amazon i'm just gonna fit it on my head adjust it until you know it looks the way i want it to look it's a side part 
it's um i paid like 20 dollars or something for it you know um it's synthetic i'm gonna comb through it remove any tangles and any knots and just play with it fluff it style it you know do something with it until i feel like i'm comfortable with the way it looks on my head I also wore black <laughs> I know poison ivy wears green but like I said this look is inspired by poison ivy it's not a total poison ivy look so that's just my vision of it it's simple anybody can do it with anything in your closet like I said earlier um, so yeah so that's the look so thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like comment share hit the bell all that good stuff give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my 